What do Julius Caesar and Shrewsbury Town Football Club have in common? There are some unusual jobs in football, like wearing a fluffy dinosaur costume as a mascot, or flying an eagle around the stadium because it's a club symbol. But no one was as unusual as a ball boy who used an ancient board to retrieve stray balls. Shrewsbury Town has been a pretty unremarkable club in more than a century of existence, bobbing up and down between the third and fourth tiers. But their history contains one amazing episode and the story of a family tradition. A Shrews fan back in the 70s would know what it was about, but anyone else who would catch their games could be confused by a black thing near the home team bench loosely resembling either a horseshoe crop or a giant wash basin. Neither it was. It was a coracle, a tiny one-person board whose invention goes back in time for millennia. To give you an idea of how practical it was, Julius Caesar was so impressed by coracles in his invasion of Britain in the 1st century BC, he later used coracles in his military campaigns in Spain. Its most common usage, however, was fishing. And pretty much that's what the man called Fred Davies had to do for the club of his life. Shrewsbury Town's old ground gay meadow was situated right on the bank of the River Severn. You can probably guess where it's going, but please keep watching, that's some story. As the stunts at Gay Meadow weren't particularly tall and the level of football particularly good, lots of stray balls flew outside the pitch limits and landed in the river. That was when the action began. Fred Davis would heave his coracle over his head and, encouraged by the home crowd, hurry up to retrieve the ball. He had to paddle fast. If the ball reaches the way, it's gone for good. As the game was going on with the replacement ball, Fred Davis spent on average 10 minutes to retrieve the stray ball and Fred knew his craft. He belonged to a family where coracles and ball boying were a tradition. His father had done the same job for the Shrews. Losing the football was an expensive prospect for a club like Shrewsbury Town. Footballs cost £15 on average back in the 70s and at the time, average weekly wages in the UK were around £32. Former Shrewsbury player Steve Cross said why it happened. We weren't a team with finesse. If the ball needed to be cleared, we cleared it. It would happen at least two or three times a game, and the stands in those days were quite low. So instead of seeing 15 pounds flow down the river, the club employed Fred and paid him a bonus for every successful pickup, and as an extra perk, he never had to pay for the game ticket. In more than 50 years, Fred Davis only lost a couple of balls. For a short time, the unusual ball boy experimented with a motorboard, but field prices made him reconsider. Footballers hang up their boots and retire, and Fred Davis hang up his coracle only in 1987. He passed away a few years later. He was such a character, recalled ex-player Steve Cross. He was one of the first people I met at the club, and I don't mean this in a horrible way, but he was one of the most full-mouthed people you could meet. He would tell you such dirty jokes. Fred's coracle is now back at the club but not in use anymore. It was initially donated to the National Football Museum, but Shrewsbury Town bought it back for its own museum a few years ago. In 2007, Shrewsbury Town finally quit Game Meadow and moved to the New Meadow, or the Crowd Meadow as it's often called. The old brown Game Meadow was demolished and the lawn became a house in estate. The change of home was long anticipated because the old ground was prone to flooding. It was quite literally water everywhere to the point where the club mascot could use a coracle right on the pitch. The new ground is located in a different part of the city with better road connections and no river in sight. At worst, an errand ball could hit a random Ford Fiesta parked outside the ground. At the new meadow in 2020, the Shrews forced an FA Cup replay against Liverpool thanks to a late comeback from 2-0 down to 2-2. Jurgen Klopp clearly underestimated the third-tier club by fielding a weaker team. Even subbing Mo Salah and Roberto Firmino on late in the game didn't help the Reds. As the final whistle blew, the home crowd flooded the pitch to celebrate an historic result against one of the biggest teams in England. If you enjoy football stories like this one, like this video so more people could see it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss the next episode and check out our other videos. See you there!